quick cutting your fork. Can you eat? That's it. Mm. Perfect. Mm. It's getting there. We're getting close. Very good. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Marrow bones, right? Sounds good. Beef marrow bones. Yep. And uh, yeah, cut from the cow, uh, the legs, and uh, yeah, and uh, very simple bones. We're gonna mm -hmm. get our grill up to about 450 degrees, and uh, we got our SPG, which is uh, our old faithful. It's got great stuff in it. All we're gonna do is just sprinkle some of this on the bones here. That's it. Just a little bit. Yeah. Now we're gonna put this on for about maybe uh, 20 minutes. Oh yeah. Hopefully we're gonna have a nice, a nice bit of marrow in that bone that's gonna start bubbling. Yeah, and the butcher, you wanna you know, have your butcher cut more of the center of that uh, shank bone, right? That's where most of the marrow is, the richness. Okay. So rather than the ends, yeah. and each end, they go more for the center of that shank, yeah. and it gives you a lot of this beautiful beef marrow right there. And, and if you prefer your the bones longer, mm -hmm. then you cut them straight down through the middle. Yeah. Yeah. And then you have a couple of little boats filled with this creamy, nice <laughs> bone marrow, mm -hmm. which, is, good. which is awesome. All right. all right. Slasher, what is this all about, though? What do you, what do you, you know, bone marrow is pretty fancy. Well, yeah, it is. It, it's a great appetizer served in a lot of high end restaurants. Yep. Um, beef bone marrow is uh, great vitamins, all kinds of good stuff inside yeah. of it. You could use it as an appetizer. Yep. You know, some people like to, you know, put these bones on a grill or, or you know, oven or whatever, and they want to, you're, you're cooking the marrow in the bone, and the bone, st the marrow starts to, bubble when it starts to bubble that's getting right near where it's supposed to be uh, some people like to take a little spoon and scoop it right out of the bone uh, and eat it and a lot of people like to take like what we're going to do today we're going to you know use some french bread and we're going to toast the bread and then we're going to take our little scoop knife yeah. and then we're going to paste it right on each piece and uh, of french bread and then we're going to eat it oh. and we're also going to top it off with pretty good wine that we Pulled a bottle out of the Pit Boy wine cellar. Yes. The other day. All right. It was, uh, and it will be, awesome. Uh -huh. uh, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. And it's going to be served in fancy glasses, and we're going, we're going uh, Broadway. Today. We're going Broadway. Yeah, today the Pit Boys are going to be uh, eating fancy. Pit Boys like for it. life. Yeah. And we start to cut these. The French baguette. Woo! Hey, uh oh! Wow. Got an escape. Yeah. He knows his fate. He's like, I'm off of here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got some nice, nice bread. All right, let's check in. Yeah, let's check. Oh, oh, now these. And they smell just like a steak. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Wow, they smell good. They do smell amazing. They smell oh, awesome. <laughs> Quick, cutting your fork. Can you eat? That's it. Mm. Perfect. Mm. It's getting there. We're getting close. All right. Get those off of here. Excellent. There we go. Let's check these. Uh, let's check the bone marrow here. It's getting there. Yep. Oh yeah. It's getting there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. It's getting there. Beauty. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Yep. 
Fancy dish indeed. Oh, look at that. We've got some nice uh, Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir. Which is uh, pretty much matched with this. Yeah. Fancy wine, wine opener bottle. There you go. All right. Would you, you would you like to do the honors? Merci. You do on a Sunday morning for your mama. Yeah. Oh, she appreciate that. You kidding me? Mm. Mm. Nice. Smell that. Just rich, rich beef. Yeah, it's good. Oh. Now this is health food. Seriously, it's health food. It's got the good cholesterol in it. Yeah. Loaded with good fat. Good for you. Yeah. Good for your mental, mm -hmm. your physical. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For those of you guys who to do this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yep. Oh, yeah. Nothing like beef marrow. A lot of people out there love this thing. Mm. All right. And then when you're done with this, you could take these bones and put them right in the stew. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Pretty much it. There's not a lot in there. Basher. All right. Wait, you want to stay here for me? Here's one. Here's one. Here. Right here. Oh. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. What a flavor. Perfect pairing with the wine. This is perfect with the wine. Mm. And barbecue pit boys for life. Mm. Wish you could be here, Martha. But <laughs> well done, chef. Fantastic. There you go. Mm. Yeah, we didn't have bigger, bigger bones. Mm. You take the big ones and they cut them right down the side, mm. and you get a whole a lot of the metal in it. It's absolutely amazing. I think the cameraman should have one. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here you go. Um. Here, cheers. Very clean. Here's cheers to you. Mm -mm. Cheers to you. Mm -mm. Pit boys for life. Right. You never know what to expect at the pit. Yeah. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com. Yeah. Right. Right. We're gonna have like 